Ladies and gents, how are we doing? We are back with another video, but before we get into it, you guys gotta like this video, hit that subscribe button, see that little bell like right down there? Click that thing if you guys wanna be notified about my future post, and last but not least, try to make it to the end, you know, it helps your boy out a ton, but without further ado, let's get into today's video. All right, guys, so today's video, we're talking about three first appearance modifications you should do to your 05 to 09. Now, this is specifically for the 40, but I guess some of them could pertain to the GTs, the three valves, but we're gonna start at the front of the car. I'm saying three is probably gonna be five, so let's actually do five, why not? Number one, on the V6, I'm gonna put up a picture here, the front bumper. In my opinion, that was kind of the most lackluster part of this vehicle just because it has what I like to call an underbite. It just doesn't look real mean and aggressive, whereas I like the GT bumper. So why did I choose the GT bumper over any of the other options? Reason being with the GT bumper, one, you have a lot more chin spoiler options. This is the CDC chin spoiler. This is the non-aggressive version because they have two different ones. And another reason I love it is because then you have the opportunity to run a lot of different grill options. For the V6s, you have a couple options. Like I had the billet grill overlay for a long time, but I always wanted the bullet grill and that will not fit on a V6 front bumper. You have to have the GT front bumper. So highly recommend that. Hood, I love going with an aftermarket hood. Personally, I always wanted a cowl hood. Now, for a lot of people, that's overkill. Is it a necessity? Absolutely not, but it does change the look of the car drastically. Now, something that I really want to do that I think will spice up the car a little bit is paint these rockers. Guys, pardon the wind noise. Hopefully, it's not too bad. I think on the V6s, that's going to make a big difference because of like the ground effects not being like body color matched. It just seems like there's a disconnect. I feel like it's going to sound silly, but with those paint mash, it's going to look actually lower to the ground and more complete. Now, I also have to apologize. The car is disgusting. I just did like the most half-assed wash I've ever done in my life, and my wheels are two different colors. So you can tell I did a terrible job. But on that topic, wheels. Wheels is probably, I would argue, number one. That's, that's the first thing you should do in terms of appearance because that alone will make your car stand out from the crowd before you hit it. <laughs> so wheels absolutely must do these are ford star f14s for anyone wondering love these wheels i personally really like 20s on these cars i think 19s also look really good too i know a lot of people run 18s with a meaty setup but 20s is right at home for me on these body styles especially with some lowering springs it looks beautiful so let's walk around to the back so we got bumper we got wheels we got paint some of the body parts to match the rest of the car then over here, you gotta do taillights. Now, don't get me wrong, these stock taillights are really, really nice, but depending on the color of your car and the scheme you're going for, I love the clear look. So for me, these are the Vector V1s. They came out with the V2s after I bought these. So the difference is that these are all white. You don't have this little bar underneath. I wanna get those. I think it would complete the kind of the look that I'm going for. I'm also going with clear reflectors on the sides. So that is a must. Also here on the back, another thing I recommend Get rid of the stock spoiler. Now, there's nothing really wrong with it, but I love the GT500 spoiler because it just really works with the body lines on this car. Now, I'm not a big like chassis mount fan. I'm sure most of you guys watching this are not either, but I think this subtle like duckbill look. Now, they do have carbon fiber trunks that have it built in. I think those are sick. I would love to get those, but this car stays outside 24 seven and I'm not trying to deal with yellow carbon fiber. Another thing you gotta do, tint now my car is probably a bad example because on the rear here we got five percent also five percent on the back we only have what i assume to be 35 because this was done before i purchased the car yeah it's still not totally fishbowl but on a bright day like today you're gonna see right through it my gosh guys i'm sorry the wind noise is brutal now another one that i guess some could argue would be performance would be lowering springs when you pair lowering springs with the wheels you're going to get a really nice look this is going to kind of finish your exterior vibe there once you do all five of those things guys your car is going to stand out and it's going to look killer so let's go into the interior and show you a few things you could do guys real quick we're jumping in here clearly i'm an idiot don't know how to count that was definitely more than five and we forgot one of the biggest ones the rear bumper specifically the v6 rear bumper not a huge fan of that one. Uh, currently still have it. That has to change. I'm trying to find a Roush rear bumper. So I'm going to put up a picture right now on the screen, guys. I think on these cars, the Roush rear bumpers are absolutely the best looking ones. I love the way the exhaust tips are like rectangular. It just sits lower to the ground. It's hunkered down and you don't see them nearly as often compared to like the GT or the GT500. So yeah, let's keep the video rolling. Another thing that I love to do 
to the interior is get the carbon fiber overlay. Now, I believe it's Dyna Performance. They sell like the full kit. It covers up all this plastic. I believe it replaces these. I don't think it's inserts, but pretty much everything that's like this fake chrome, that's gonna be all carbon fiber. Now, I believe that kit retails right around $1,000. I think if I keep this car forever, which I plan on doing, I think eventually we'll engine swap this. If that's the case, I'm definitely gonna do that because it will complete the look. Also, all of this goes to carbon fiber. All of this, I believe even this is covered in carbon fiber, so that would look absolutely nasty another thing is floor mats guys pardon me just wash the car but like simple stuff like this like diamond stitch floor mats another thing that is super sick that i don't have that i'd love to do is to do like the starry like roof liner like the rolls royce that would be rad but i've heard that that is like mad expensive and i don't really feel like paying a grand or whatever it costs to do that so yeah guys there you go i'm trying to keep these videos short and sweet for you without dragging them out too much i really think if you do some of those modifications it's going to really drastically change the way your car can look now some runner ups we're going to give you a couple other options a lot of people will go straight to wrapping their car me personally i don't think these are the cars that i would necessarily just go spend like two or three grand on a wrap i would rather make the car look more aggressive and then once you kind of have that style you're going for then wrap it because then your vision is going to be complete now, another one that a lot of people like to do is I kind of touched on is like the chassis mount wings or like add front camber. That one's questionable. That's all kind of your opinion on that. I'm not a huge fan of camber on these cars because you can't camber out the rear. So to me, that kind of defeats the appeal to it. If you're gonna do camber, you probably want it matching and that's gonna make the complete look there. So yeah, guys, your boy's dying in the car. We're gonna wrap this one up here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you made it to the end, drop a comment, leave a like, hit that subscribe button, touch the bell. We're spouting them all off. But if you did make it to this far, you are an absolute G and I love you. And nonetheless, I will catch you guys in Sunday's upload. So peace out guys, have a good one. And I will see you next time.